Burr. <laughs> Good Friday morning to you. It's December the 1st, starting a new month. Soon we'll be starting a new year, believe it or not. 2018. But anyway, hey Google. Good morning. Hey, Rusty. Burr. The time is 7.09 a.m. Currently in Burnett, it's 55 and cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy, with a forecasted high of 78 and a low of 51. Have a nice day. Perfect weather here in Central Texas for the next few days. And what else have we got going on here? Hey, Google, tell us a joke. Okay, here you go. Acupuncture <clears throat> is a jab well done. <laughs> I miss most of them. I, I, I guess I'm a little slow up here. Well, I know I am. Don't rub it in. Anyway, uh, this is Biker Dude on the Falcon travel trailer. He says, I like the color. What kind of phone do you have, Rusty? I have an LG Stylo 2 from Verizon. It has an 8 megapixel rear camera and a 5 megapixel front. Works fine, and it's cheap. <clears throat> I think it was, uh, actually, now it's free. I don't even know if they have it anymore. <clears throat> Uh, the next several are all on the travel trailer, the Falcon. Lois Delisle, like the style. Robert, nice. Hello, I'm Elmer. It's certainly a nice unit. Appreciate your efforts to show us all the many models. There's a lot of them. And he's got some more coming. I, I'm looking forward to that uh, sunset or whatever it's called that I'm going to do when they get it. <clears throat> this is Duda. Thanks for the tour. Dreaming Angels Reborn. I like this one. Just wish it was $10,000. LOL. Rusty, thanks for sharing. You're welcome, Dreaming Angels, etc. Uh, this is all on the Falcon again. Uh, Cajun, sorry, Rusty. The Falcons don't blow my dress up. Well, what can I say? <laughs> George Herman. Da, 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 da whatever that means, do da do da whatever. Anyway, uh, this is up Mark H. I prefer the Clipper Cadet and keeping 10K in my pocket. Amen to that, brother. 10, 10 that's 100 Franklins, okay? <clears throat> yeah, I agree. The reason he said that is I have a Clipper Cadet, a 2018 Coachman Clipper Cadet, 16 CFB, which means front bedroom, and it's nice. I like it. I'm living in it right now. I've lived in RVs for 30 years. And also, while I'm thinking about it, you guys that use the Amazon link, thank you very much. Pat, pat, pat. Uh, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I'll get my ad in early here. <clears throat> I am an Amazon affiliate. In the, link, in the uh, description to every video, I leave a link to Amazon products. If you use the link and go to Amazon and buy anything, I get a small commission and it costs you nothing. So if you choose to use the link, thank you very much. And if you don't, don't worry about it, no big deal. Uh, what else? Uh, this is Hot Limited on the Falcon. Mr. Rusty, can you post your videos earlier in the morning, like around 5 a.m., watching Rusty and drinking my coffee is how I start my day? Certainly Hot Limited. I wouldn't want you to start your day without watching my videos. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get up at 3 a.m. and do two of them for you tomorrow, okay? And you get up at 3 a.m. too, okay? And wait patiently. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I get up when I choose. Anyway, Grandma Patty on the Falcon. I had considered their bunkhouse model because it occurred to me that pulling that dark trailer at night could be a hazard. <clears throat> but it occurred to me, sorry. Tractor trailers have to have reflective strips on their sides because folks have driven into their sides at intersections. That's true. I think that dark color will eventually lead to someone's death. I don't know. Could, uh, uh, that see-through bathroom door is fine for single who never have a guest. Uh, nobody would ask to use your bathroom, though. Uh, Mr. Ringer, 1951. Grandma Patty, there is a draw curtain at the door entrance to the bathroom. Okay, that's all that. Uh, this is Charles Green, uh, Falcon. Hey, Rusty, all you need to do is open the microwave door. If the inside is silver, then it's a convection unit. That's good to know. If it's white, it's just a microwave unit. How about that? See, I didn't know that. So if it's silver on the inside, it's convection. If it's white, it's microwave. All right, thank you. Uh, for those of you that use microwaves, I just recently, for the past two months, well, month and a half, nearly two months, I haven't had a microwave and had somebody mention 
a test you can do with a microwave. Microwave some water, didn't say for how long, and then pour it on a plant, and the plant will die. That's what he said. And then I checked out, you know, how healthy microwaves are. Boy, you talk about a split. All the commercial, like, you know, the universities, oh, it's fine, fine, you know, that are backed by, you know, funded by companies, you know, they say it's okay, but all the uh, uh, non-profit groups uh, say it's not good for you. So anyway, it's kind of up in the air. I just don't have one, that's all, so that's why I'm not using one. Uh, traveling with Rick on Sunray, that's it, Sunray. Uh, Rusty enjoyed your perspective insight on being alone well done and inspirational even yeah it, you know, It's up to you. You're living uh, being by yourself is alone, but do you need to be lonely? No, I'm fine I'm happier than a pig on ice Flower child Falcon. I do like the separate shower, but goodness goodness. It's pricey. Thanks for posting Yeah, it's 20,000. That's a fact if I was gonna spend that much. I'd get a casita 17 footer. Yeah, I would <clears throat> 66 block RVing future Good info, Rusty. I am seven years behind you. Retiring next year sounds like it is crowded and getting more so. It's not that bad. It, it depends on where you go. The certain state, if it, if the state parks or national parks have a lake or a river during the summer, they're going to be busy. I promise you. But anyway, having said that, haven't have not bought a camper yet. I'm leaning towards a Scamp 16 foot. That's a good unit. The wave of the boomers will affect this just like everything else. I was planning to go as long as. I am physically able to do so, me too, but if the pe whole generation is out on the road, it might just be too crowded. Well, you know, go check it out. I mean, don't worry about the crowd, just go. Uh, cross that bridge when I get there. Always learn from your videos. Thanks. Anyway, you're welcome. Beauregard Whit Rippy left a link uh, to the Sunray trailer, I guess. It's a YouTube video he left a link to. Beauregard Rippy. Johnny Long, Falcon. Not much, if any, counter space in this camper. No, my RV has nice, has plenty of ca uh, uh, counter space. It's really nice, actually. Scotty's got about 10 in a row here. Comment call. Cool comment call, Rusty. Scotty says, I don't watch that much TV on my 32-inch television, only if something good on Rusty. I use an antenna to get my free broadcast TV. It is better than cable. Clearer picture that... All it will then all it was in the 60 1960 broadcast TV, but anyway, yeah, what he's saying, he's got an antenna TV, he doesn't use cable, which is great. Scotty, do you like Thanksgiving rest? Yeah, it's okay, yeah, it's fine, I enjoy it. Cool hanging basket, cool comment call. Do you use jackets in Texas? Yeah, I've got one on right now, Scotty. Uh, cool Falcon travel light RV, did you get it, Rusty? No, I, I've got a new one, Scotty. Uh, Scotty, cool, funny, mail call, comment call, cool call. Uh, what kind of shoes do you use, Rusty? I use, I wear Merrells and Crocs. Cool Sunway Travel Trader, cool Falcon Travel Light. Okay, and that was all of Scotty. Now we'll go back and pick up Johnny Long. <clears throat> oh, he already said that. Not much, if any, counter space in this camper. That's true. Carl H's. I want to get my refund also. He's talking about Elio Motors. Apparently, uh, you know, there's there's still some people trying to sue Elio uh, to get their deposits back, and uh, you know, Elio's kind of stuck their head in the sand. Anyway, it's really weird. I mean, I, nothing's happening. Nothing. I get, I still get emails from them occasionally. They still have their website, and uh, but anyway, I don't think they're going anywhere. Anyway, this is uh, Lee Ben, last one. <clears throat> Short mail call today, or comment call rather. <clears throat> well, it won't be short when I get through. Uh, Lee Ben, morning, Rusky. Ask Google who started to throw pennies in a fountain and make a wish. Where did it start from? Thanks. Hey, Google. Who started throwing coins in a fountain and making a wish? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that yet. Okay. Uh... Hmm, you got to ask it right or Google doesn't find it. Hey Google, what is a wish? Wish, feel, or express a strong desire or hope for something that is not easily attainable. Want something that cannot or probably will not happen. Hey Google, can you throw a coin in a fountain and make a wish? 
On the website orbits.com, they say, those who love to travel would do especially well to visit the Trevi Fountain in Rome. Legend has it that throwing a coin into the fountain will guarantee that you'll return to the Eternal City. Throwing in a second coin will not only get you a return trip to Rome, but also an exciting new romance. Hey Google, where did throwing coins in a fountain and making a wish start? My apologies, I don't understand. <clears throat> yeah, you got to get the specific question, and I'm not, I'm not wording it right. But anyway, Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? Oh, hey Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? In Bangor, it's currently 41. Well, the temperature varies a lot there, 20, 40, 24. Uh, hey Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? The temperature in Butte right now is 31. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Sioux City? In Sioux City right now, it's 31. Okay. Hey, Google. What's the temperature in Jap uh, Tokyo, Japan? In Tokyo, it's currently 48. Hey, Google. What's the temperature in Beijing, China? The temperature in Beijing right now is 29. Hey, Google. What's the temperature in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia? In Ulaanbaatar, it's currently minus 4. Jesus. Yeah, dang. Hey, Google. What's the temperature in Moscow? In Moscow, it's currently 34. It's minus 4 in Mongolia. Mm. Hey, Google. What's the temperature in Anchorage, Alaska? In Anchorage right now, it's 20. Amazing. So anyway, hey Google, what's the temperature in uh, Brownsville, Texas? In Burnett right now, oh. it's 55. Okay. Anyway, guys, <clears throat> I've had a few bikes on my RV. I don't know if I'm gonna if it's sold yet, but it's it's getting close. I'll tell you that. I've got a lot of I don't know. I had a little flurry of uh, inquiries about it, <clears throat> and I've lowered the price, as you know. And we'll see how it works. Hopefully we'll get that done here in the next few days. That'll be a big relief for me. <clears throat> and then the next bump in the road i got to kind of work on a little bit. I'm still working on is all these skin things. But other than that, you know, I had two little bumps in the road. One was getting or selling the uh, Jayco J flight, and it looks like that's going to happen here in the next week. Thumbs up or got my fingers crossed or whatever you do. And uh, we'll see how that works out. But anyway, it is. Friday, uh, December the 1st, a brand new month, and uh, all you guys start off with a smile on your face, and we'll see how it happens, we'll see how it goes. It's cool here in Central Texas. What it is, it's one of those overcast days, and it's a little humid, damp outside, and you know, I call it, you've, have you ever had, heard there's a chill in the air? Well, there's a chill in the air, you know what I mean? You just can't really get warm, you know what I mean? So anyway, having said that, guys, hey Google, tell us a joke. This might make you laugh. Why can't you trust an atom? Because they make up literally everything. <laughs> I tell you, I, I don't know what to say. But anyway, guys, you guys have a great day. I'll have one too, and uh, we'll do uh, something else later today. I don't know what. My my uh, video pool is, is running dry, so to speak. I guess I can go through my comments, see if I can come up with something. But anyway, you guys have a great day. I will too. And if I get my RV sold, the one in Kingsland, the Jayco. I'm thinking about taking a little trip somewhere, but I'm not sure where to go. See, there's no real good places to go boondocking in Texas near where I live unless you go to uh, Walmart, and I don't really want to do that. But anyway, I'll come up with something. Don't you worry about that. But I want to check out my my plan. I want to see how this solar is going to work, and I, I want to try to run. I really want to try to run both the uh, refrigerator I have, the 110 volt, and also the Dometic. And uh, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that. But anyway, having said that, guys, enjoy. Thumbs up, Carpe Diem, Adios, bye bye, bye, USA made when you can. Spend your money any way you want to. Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day will not hurt you. It'll actually help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it will help you lose weight if that's what you want to do. 
another way to lose weight is eat less and that is not easy okay because <clears throat> i know changing eating habits is difficult so what else have we got here uh take deep breaths breathe in through your nose really deep and then hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out through your mouth why because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what lowers your blood pressure and lowering your blood pressure is really good for you and if you don't believe me check it out and what else uh, stretch you know stretch you know what i mean stretch those arms and swing them you know what i mean go walk you know just keep your body in motion even if you got to go to a walmart or somewhere and walk around inside there but anyway the main thing is to try to keep your health because see that's a bump in the road you can't get over when you lose your health uh unfortunately it ain't good i mean I'm, I'm not real excited about my skin issues but they're not terrible the only thing is every now and then they itch and that's about all it does is that bad no it could be a lot worse there are a lot worse things you could have okay but anyway enjoy your day i'll enjoy mine got a weekend coming up in central texas nice weather anyway guys enjoy your day bye bye